In this video, I will show you how to build a task manager in Notion. I will first turn this into a full width page. The first step is to create a database. I like to use a table database because I can see all the properties as I add them. I will first add a date property to allocate the date and time for a task. I will change this default tags property into a date property. Next, I add a text property for the task description. This is so I know if there's anything to take note of when I'm doing the task. Next, I will add a checkbox property to mark a task as completed. You can add a few other properties depending on what you need. You can add a URL property if you frequently have a task related link. I also like to add a select property to assign a priority to a task. This can allow me to filter my top priorities whenever I am overloaded with tasks. You can add as many options as you need, such as P0, P1, P2, or high, medium, and low. Also, feel free to customize it to the color of your choice. You can do the same for energy levels or context if you like your tasks to have these attributes that you can later filter to see. Lastly, we will add a created time property which we'll use for the inbox view. Instead of adding a new icon to the page every time I create a new task, I can set a default template to have it pre-fill the icon. Firstly, we need to create a new database template. We can edit how we want each newly created task to look on this page. I will rearrange the properties depending on what I want to see first. Then, hovering over the name, I can add an icon to this page. You can even pre-fill the page body, which can be helpful for other databases like projects, which will save it for another day. If you like to learn about that, subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I like to add a calendar view of our task database on every newly created task. To do so, I need to copy the link to the task database we created earlier, edit the template, paste it on the template page, and change it to the calendar layout. I will then toggle to show the checkbox property, and that will be it for this template. Having this calendar on every task page allows me to see what's already on my schedule before setting a due date for my new task. I will delete all these empty tasks and show you how the template works. When I add a new task, you can see no icon or anything on the page. To fix this, we must set our previously created template as a default template for all views. Every time a new task is completed, we have our page icon and calendar idea inside. We can now create different views of the same database that works for us. I will first turn this original database into a page. Firstly, I will create a list view of our database by copying the link of the original database and pasting it to make a link view. This will be the inbox view. I prefer to use headings than the database title because it looks much cleaner to me and we'll also rename and add an icon for this database view. I will then show the properties I want to see, such as the description, date, and priority levels. When editing a task, you can use the tab key on your keyboard to quickly switch from editing one property to another. Tasks in the inbox are tasks that are yet to be processed. We can filter out these tasks where the complete checkbox is unchecked, the date property is empty, and the date created is today. These filters must be added to the advanced filter to ensure the tasks meet all three filters. Throughout the day, any task that comes to your mind will go into this inbox view. Now the inbox view is done, I will copy the link of this inbox database view to reuse the list view. Next, I will create a two column view. The first column will be today's view. I will change the date filter for today and remove the made time filter. Then I will hide the date property since I know it's scheduled for today. Then I will copy the link of today's view to create the views for the next column. I will have three views on this second column and use the heading toggles to show or hide them easily. This time the date filter will be before today to filter for overdue tasks. Then I will duplicate the entire toggle for a tomorrow view and change the date filter to be for tomorrow. And lastly, 
I duplicate the toggle again for the next 7 days view, which filters the date within the next week. I will toggle to show the date property for this one since there will be different dates. Next up, I will have a super helpful timeline view. I will copy the link of any of the list views and change the layout to a timeline. I will change the date filter for this week and keep the checkbox property to be unchecked. Otherwise, if you have all your upcoming tasks or complete tasks on this timeline view, it will make it a very long view which would be really unproductive. Last but not least, we need to change the timeline view from month to week. Now we can see our tasks for the week in one glance. I just remembered that I need to do so, but you can also show the checkbox property on this timeline view. In the next section, we will first create a two column view. Then, in the first column, I will add a list of our task database and filter to show only tasks with an empty date property. I will add a calendar view for the tasks in the next column. I will remove all the filters and show the checkbox property. In doing so, I can now easily drag and drop from the list view to the calendar view to schedule a due date for my unscheduled tasks. I will hide some properties on the list view to make it less cluttered. Remember that depending on your preference, you can always choose to show or hide any properties on any view. Now we're left with the final bottom section of this one page task manager. This will be a table view to show all our completed tasks. I will customize it a little and rearrange the properties to how I want to view it. Then I will also hide the vertical lines on this table view to make it look cleaner. Then I will group them by month based on their assigned date and hide the empty groups. To finish up this view, I will just need to add a filter to show tasks with their checkbox property checked. And there we have now created a task manager in Notion. You can always customize your Notion page to fit your style and workflow, so don't just stop here but keep altering the little details and layout till you find what works for you. And once you do, you will feel the satisfaction of having your own personalized productivity setup. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, let me know by leaving a like or comment below.